Jeffrey sees him looking again. Why is he staring at me? He's feeling anxious and intimidated. Why is that guy staring? He feels so uncomfortable. He's no longer having fun, but he's just pretending to dance in the club. Deep in his brain is so many anxious thoughts. Okay, what do I do? What if he hits me? What? Should I run away? Should I tell the bouncer? What should I do? Should I go home? Should I tell my friend? I should tell my friends in case he jumps me. And he just keeps staring. It's scary. It's intimidating. Jeffrey makes the wrong choice. He looks at the guy. He gets angry. And he shouts. Oh no, Jeffrey. You don't know what you've just done. Adonis! Adonis is a fighter, a warrior, a gladiator. He has bested many men in combat. In his famous 1v1 against Apollo, his greatest enemy, Adonis swings his sword and cuts right through. He is hailed as the brave, courageous victor. If only they knew that Adonis was scared this entire time. I think that fighting and combat sports is an absolute crucial part of a man's life. And this is your message or inspiration right now. If right now you are not consistently in some form of fighting, some form of martial arts, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, seriously start to consider it. It will develop parts of you as a man that are not improved in any other way possible. As a young man, you need, this is gonna sound weird, you need to be hit in the face. I will repeat that again. As a young man, you need to be hit in the face consistently. Every time you go to a boxing club and you do a bit of sparring and you get hit in the nose maybe your nose pops a bit and you bleed trust me when i know that sounds like a, like a bad thing trust me when i say that greatly improves your character when you are under some kind of threat of violence you become present you become focused all of those bullshit thoughts in your mind those insecure thoughts disappear suddenly it's just you in the real world versus this other man and your objective is to win your objective is to defend yourself to protect yourself, to fight, to go to war. As much as that develops you, and it has developed me, I acknowledged yesterday, and I'm, I'm kind of proud for this acknowledgement, even though it seems, you know, kind of weak or whatever, but I acknowledged yesterday, I'm scared before every fight. I always have been before every single fight that I've been in, whether a street fight, you know, like stupid drunken club shit, or sparring through martial arts. Every single fight that I've had, I've been scared beforehand. I remember being in university. So in, in university, I was, you know, 19, 20, 21 years old. I'm 25 now. I was way more of like a young, dumbass party boy. So I was like a party fuck boy. I'd go to like clubs and stuff for the, the purpose of like, you know, like drinking alcohol and taking drugs and like trying to hook up with girls. I'd spent like two years of my life doing that shit. And the worst part about all this was the violence that often does arise in, a, you know, think about the environment of a nightclub. There's girls there who have dressed quite sexually. The guys are going there because they're horny. Like quite frankly, I, anyone who fucking says clubs are for anything else, oh, I just go for the music, shut up. Shut up Eve. The reason why you go to clubs, the reason why you go to like parties and stuff is like the biggest, biggest common reason why is because guys are horny and guys want to fuck and girls are thirsty and girls want attention from guys and like some girls are horny and they want to fuck too. That's the biggest single reason anyone who disagrees is just lying to themselves. Oh, but I just go to the, the club to have fun with my girls. Shut up. You want some validation, stupid. But in this environment, girls are dressed slutty, guys are horny as fuck, everyone's drinking, which, you know, increases like aggression and everything. And it's quite a competitive, quite a brutal, natural, animalistic environment when you really think about the dynamic of the men in there. Every guy in there would like to fuck like the hottest girls in the club. It is a very ruthlessly competitive environment, testosterone fueled, and there's gonna be some dickheads, there's gonna be some like angry motherfuckers, and I've, I've been like that sometimes. I remember being like the defender actually, when I would go out, so I had like a pretty big big friendship group who would go to these clubs and there'd be like a bunch of girls who were my friends in there, like just totally friends. Maybe it's a bit of an ego boost to me when I look back, but they would always come to me when like they needed help. Like it, I, this was very common that like a girl would need help against the guy in the club. It's so fucking weird, bro. I know this video is supposed to be about like fighting and stuff, but what I, the club scene, like the party scene so fucking weird because this would happen extremely often where the girl would be like very uncomfortable because a guy was literally touching her or following her or just wouldn't take the message that like she didn't want to speak to him. I don't like to throw the words like harassment and everything but like probably it does suit the definition is like yeah he was kind of harassing her. and this would happen to like girls like pretty much every time they'd go out and i know we're not supposed to you know victim blame but i just think back to those girls i'd be like what's wrong with you obviously the guy's the problem but like what's wrong with you like what what goes on in your brain to make you crave to keep going back into that environment and obviously like there's a lot wrong with me as well when i think about myself i was going out three times a week taking fucking drugs and stuff like i'm not devoid of the you know the wrongness i was fuck, fucked up in the head as well but this would happen quite often almost every single night like the girl would run up and say like oh can you get this guy off me and everything 
And the guy would just be like horny as fuck, but he'd be like fucked up like social skills and drunk. So he didn't know like when to take the message and the girl's not interested and whatever. So I should have been nicer, but like maybe through ego, I wanted to like intimidate these guys. And the way that I would do it is like, I'd walk up to them, square up to them and say like, nah, she's mine, bro. Like, you know, probably aggressively just say shit like, nah, she doesn't want to talk to you. And literally 99 times out of a hundred, the guy would get the message instantly and be like, oh, oh, I'm really sorry, bro. Like this and like want to like, you know, to like go to handshake me. And again, because of my big fat ego, I'd go one step further. He'd say, okay, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'll, I'll go now just to handshake me or fist bump me. And I'd continue staring at him and just threatening him until I turn around and walk away right now. I'd be saying this shit. I'm a fucking horrible guy when I'm thinking back about this. I don't know why the fuck I was that aggressive, but I would be saying this, like looking alpha as fuck, bro. Guess what? Inside of my mind, I was shitting myself. Inside of my mind, I was so fucking afraid of what could happen. My heartbeat was fast. Maybe from the outside, you probably would have been able to pick up on like subconscious cues that I wasn't really about that beef, but maybe in like the, the dark, environments with like lights and music and you know people and everything and alcohol you might not have been able to like pick up on my subconscious body language every single time some shit like this happened bro i was deep in my mind anxious terrified about a year after that i stopped going out with girls like this that's a big fucking life upgrade when you stop going out with like female friends and you literally just go with your boys like i'd literally just go with like one of my male friends would go out like twice a week consistently just to kind of like practice game and everything and it was a lot more fun just going out with like one male friend who's your boy like shout out levi me and him would go out would spit game, you know, would be, would be like fucking practiced at this point. You know, like there's that thing that it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill. Instead of studying for university, because we were in, we were literally in university, instead of studying for our psychology degree, we studied for our master's degree in thoughtology and we got the 10,000 hours of like mastering this skill. <laughs> Going out two, three times a week, speaking to girls and just getting into fucking trouble. And then I remember that related to mental health, 100% related to mental health, both mine and my friend's mental health kind of deteriorated. We were a lot more like, you know, it's a whole story, but we were like a lot more like lonely because we used to be like really social guys living in like the central part of the city, but then we'd moved away and we kind of like lost touch with like most of our friends and we started smoking weed every single day and started drinking more, you know what I mean? So mental health was a bit fucked. And um, there was times when we'd go out and like more shit would kick off. And there was a particular night that I just want to kind of describe to you where in the club, you know, it's the same thing, you know, we're, we're dancing, we're talking to girls, we're kissing girls, hooking up and like speaking to guys and you're know, just chatting random shit. And I don't necessarily remember what happened specifically in the club that night whatever happened in the club who knows but we eventually leave the club and we're on the way to get some like chicken or some shit it's like 3 a.m and my best friend's black so obviously we're, we're gonna go get some chicken am i allowed to say that <laughs> So we're walking out, we're going to the takeaway and across the street is a big, big group of guys and like a couple of them are shirtless and like that's usually a very fucking bad sign if it's like, we're in the UK so it's not warm or anything. If it's like 3 a.m. if a guy's drunk and shirtless, you know for a fact he's a fucking dickhead. You know he's a dick, especially if he's not like jacked because there's like, there's the jacked guy who takes his shirt off because he's got an ego, like that's me. So I like, you know, I'll take my shirt off in the rave because I've got ego and stuff but like that doesn't necessarily mean I'm like a fucking angry person who's like stupid. Whereas there's like, the standard i want you to just imagine like a flabby young british man who's drunk of pints with his lads and he's taking his shirt off i want you to just imagine his personality and his like demeanor and shit and they were across the street just shouting yelling screaming i remember like we said some shit back and one of the guys followed along with his friends but like one of the the, the guy at the front literally just starts walking like charging towards us there was a very very large road right so it took him maybe 15 seconds to walk over i was so fucking scared i remember like literally starting to shake my heartbeat started going fast he got closer and closer and i remember even bitching out like we, had, we were kind of shouting at him he was kind of shouting at us and when he came closer i remember fully bitching out and almost like complimenting his physique and like i was so fucking terrified honestly i was so scared he came over he didn't say anything he literally just went and just hit my friend straight away like he pushed him with force my friend like you know just taken back he was like frozen as well without thinking anything i literally just right hook this guy straight in his fucking teeth like in his chin right like the perfect kind of right hook where like when you hit someone from the side of the chin they twist they literally twist like a fucking beyblade he just twisted collapsed to the floor like fucking not not unconscious but like fucked like you know dizzy and stuff and because of the sake of like authenticity and stuff bro like we fucking kicked him and everything on the floor like, fuck this guy bro honestly like i'm supposed to you know oh and then we we called the plea bro fuck that guy he crossed the streets he chatted some shit he, he swore started aggressively like, you know, he fucking hit my friend. Bro, I hit him, my friend kicked him on the floor and then his friends came over and it's fucking screaming, pushing everything. Like, you know, girls are just getting in the way. Ah, like fucking long hair, bitch and everything. 
just drama and everything. And me and my friend just started kind of like laughing about the situation. Cause like my friend fucking punted him. My friend got like a running kick onto the guy's ribs, bro. And he fucking deserved it. I don't care what you fucking, what you believe, bro, but that guy deserved it. You don't walk over to two random guys and then not expect to get fucking dropped on the floor. I say this, which it's interesting that you can see this energy inside of me and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm aggressive and yo, oh, yeah, like alpha male, I knocked him out and stuff, bro. I was fucking terrified. Just last night I was in kickboxing. I do kickboxing three times a week. I was kickboxing and in every session there's like half an hour of sparring at the end so we wear like pads and gloves and mouth guard and stuff and I get into the ring with this guy who was a former Royal Marine he's bigger than me as well like in um no offense to the guy but like in a higher body fat percentage kind of way not in like muscle way I don't know if that was a necessary fucking <laughs> detail I'm just fucking roasted the guy no but he was nice he was a nice guy really good to spar with but we get into the ring okay it's time to like it's a real fucking spar like just before this I had done like a quick little like one shot spar you know it's, it's a bit of competitiveness but it's you're not gonna get hurt in what's called like a one hit spa where you just take turns to like hit each other once we get into the ring the coach tells us okay get into the ring your points are gonna be added up and everything and you're gonna go okay full on to it you're gonna like fucking you can knee you can kick you can hit for the face and everything and i just remembered that same feeling and this is when i thought of this video title because i was literally stood there at the corner of the ring you know just before the coach was about to tell us the fight and i was so fucking scared bro i felt so much fear inside of myself my friend stood next to me george was you know giving me some advice he was like you know like just breathe go for the jabs do, do this do this and i was like pretending to listen to him but bro i was so fucking i had so much fear inside of myself at this moment but then the coach says go the bell rings i launch forward go with the attack hit him get a bunch of good hits he hits me a bunch of good times as well and as soon as action is taken as soon as there is some momentum the fear stops and then it's all about technical skill it's all about competitiveness it's all about okay what am i gonna throw what what is he leaving open oh he jabs and he doesn't bring his hand back enough okay i'm gonna go for the right hook next time he jabs boom fucking good hit he goes in for a kick but he doesn't go back out okay i'll kick him twice on the back of his leg suddenly i'm in the flow state and it feels good he hits me extremely well the guy i was against was like a fucking former marine bro so he gets a bunch of good hits on me a few times he jabs my nose and like my full-on head like pushes back like that and then before i know it the one and a half minute spar is over me and him fist bump each other and like you know thank each other for the session the spar the fear's gone i feel good everyone's been watching put up like a good fight and everything feel fantastic and then five ten minutes later it's time to spar again and exact same fear is inside of me bro this time we go inside of the cage the cage is locked it's just an extra fear thing of like you walk into the cage and like the guy behind you locks the fucking cage behind you there's no fucking escape you're in this tiny ass little cage there's no escape just whilst we're waiting for everyone to kind of set up and start watching us i feel that same level of fear inside of me i'm fucking shit scared bro but again coach says to start we start touch gloves start hitting each other what fighting has taught me and i'm not a professional fighter at all but the experience that i do have is that we can have fear we can be scared of something but go forward anyway do you know what that's called courage courage is the skill of disobeying your fear and it is a beautifully masculine trait so develop some courage within yourself see this as inspiration right now to perhaps get some experience some knowledge in some kind of like self-defense skill or just specifically go to some kind of club train and just start getting into sparring you'll have to you know buy the gear and then the mouth guard and stuff and you know there can be quite a lot of friction to start but as soon as you start it bro you never want to give it up i'm literally like rocking backwards and forth excited my next session is on monday i'm like so fucking excited it's saturday right now and i just want it to be now like i literally just want to get back into the ring i'm excited now on monday i'm gonna go train so it's one hour like normal training session and then we have a half an hour sparring as soon as the half an hour sparring comes bro i'm gonna be scared again but just being scared of something seeing that there is a risk of something does not mean that you have to freeze it does not mean that you can't take action it is a fantastic habit to get into to feel fear but then to be courageous and go forth anyway martial arts will do that for you and i really hope you can find like a really good club to join click on this video right now to learn more about street fights do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.